Uh, none of them. Why? Uh, the reason is uh, it's clear to everybody. One, we are facing the country now, we are not enjoying it. Because since uh, Buhari entered, things change. Although he, he, he promised Nigeria that he's going to change Nigeria. I don't know, we are, we are, it's affecting us negatively. We are receiving the negative part of it. Change. So for me, I cannot vote for him. I don't know that. How about for an article? No, I can't. Uh, but there is other people in which, uh, if the election, during the election, do I cannot vote for the two. I know if I vote for Atiku, Atiku, Atiku will not be his funny. Atiku will not be the eventual winner. It is still going to be black, whether I vote for him or not. Because, oh, why do you think because there are some power that be. You understand? And those power that be, it is the candidates they choose to, you know, um, put there that comes there. So I know that Atiku is, is not their candidate for now. So let's assume there are not powers that be. Who would you vote on the platform? Let's assume. Let's assume everything is no, uh, on a normal ground. Eh? On a normal ground, I vote for Atiku why? because I why? Why would you vote? I want a change. I want a change. Do you think Atiku is the change we need? Eh, it's not. You see, let me tell you, Atiku might not be the perfect thing. Eh, no, perfect. He has once been in power uh, as, uh, vice uh, as vice president. That was not. That didn't count. It was just the vice president, not the president as. You know, not the not, not, not the person who exercised power then. It was about soldiers that exercised power, being the president. Atiku was just the vice president. In fact, Atiku was just even fortunate to be the vice president because of the group he belongs to. Do you understand? So now, the way it is now in the country, the way Bar is dealing with everybody, I also want a change. Even if it's not going to be Atiku that comes, you know, around to be that change that we need. You understand? So, Abraham uh, might be doing a better thing, saying they want uh, economy, you know, they want to put things back, put things straight, back, supposed to, the way it's supposed to be. But, to me, it's dealing with the citizenry. On the normal ground, why I would change for a different person apart from Barry? Though Barry might be doing well, might be doing what he's supposed to do, but that thing he's doing now, that he's supposed to do, is putting on guard. You know, it's putting everybody into hunger now. Everybody is hungry. No money that is enough. Okay, is it only uh, um, this thing that you fight? Corruption. You are fighting corruption. Fight corruption. Do something else for people to smile. You are fighting corruption. Okay. Those who are fighting, those who are fighting, those who they are fighting. Are they short of funds? Are they short of money? Is this None of the above. None of them. Yeah. No, I vote for Atiku, to be honest. Oh, why? I prefer Atiku. The reason was because. Back in the days when he was still with the passenger and the rest. He has a follower with the passenger. We thought the follower was a negative follower. But at this juncture, we realized that he was the one that was right in the follower. That was our passenger as he is at the moment. He got him to come back again. Atiku has him to be on the queue now in APC. So Atiku was good to go. He has something to reckon with. Let's try Atiku. Because wow. all the promise, Buhari, I, I, I won't go on the idea of Buhari. The reason was because, is because all the promise he has lavished on us by his manifesto in his campaign, to be honest with you, he hasn't fulfilled anyone. Let's be honest with ourselves. Yes, yes, we gave four years try and nothing came out fruitful for me. Because the first time he came into the office, everything was like working well. Along the line, everything began to malfunction. And at this juncture, I want to call this spade a spade. I'm tired with you for four years. You don't deserve to try again. Somebody needs to go on your board. That's it. I would likely vote for Buhari as the president of Nigeria. Oh, why? I'll vote for him because looking at what he has been doing, he has been trying. When you look at the economy of Nigeria before he came in, Things were scattered. Things were not in right order. But when he came in, he was able to put some things in place. Despite the challenges that is going on, I, I'm, I'm still rest assured that he's trying his best. And he's putting things in place. And if he's given the opportunity, come next uh, tenor, he's going to do better. Let us give him the chance. But looking at the article, Look at what they are, their past record doesn't show that they are doing anything good. But look at this coming. I know that things are hard because of the foundation of the past. Those, those of the past leaders, they have done a lot of things that, 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 that is taking him a lot of time to amend. That's why I still have confidence in him that he can do better. I'll vote for him. I won't vote for any one of them. We need a more credible candidate for this election. If we are really serious about the future of Nigeria, 
We know the pedigree of uh, article, uh, the petroleum uh, fund issue when he was the vice president. Doing, uh, we, they can't, uh, I don't know, maybe the Nigerian system, that's the way they try to make us forget the history or what has happened. So uh, I'm not surprised of what is happening with Buhazi. Buhazi is just interested in power. Maybe uh, uh, Buhazi promised us change, but I can assure you if we need to carry a survey now and tell people change, they will tell you they don't want change. The, this, this change is, is not really helping us because we are not seeing any significant development in any area. And there are a lot of issues of corruption, allegations of corruption, even within this system. And it's like corruption is fighting corruption. So I think uh, if we are thinking about really, if we are really concerned about the future of Nigeria, we should start thinking about credible uh, candidate beyond Buhari or article, beyond any, beyond uh, the branding or the packaging any old product that we have had. We need new people in the system. Sincerely, I don't have anybody in mind now. I don't have, but the, 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 20, the next election is still far ahead. We still need people to tell us what they can offer to us. We still need a lot of people to come out and really, you know, give us their pedigree, what they have achieved. Uh, give us their portfolio, and we uh, we need a lot of people to really uh, tell.